Should you pay down debt or should you invest? This is such a good question and I'm so excited to be able to be going through this because I think all of us have either asked this question or will ask this question later on. Before we get started though, if this is your first time here on the channel, my name is Nolan Govea. I'm a real life professor at a couple of universities and in my classes I've noticed that in the class itself that's a great time for me to learn the big concepts and the theories, but when students really want to get down into the actual details and maybe specifically for themselves, learn a little bit more, they come to my office for office hours. And so with this channel, I've made this series called Office Hours with Professor G. And so this is one of those questions. So I got a question the other day from one of you, and you asked, should you invest or should you put money towards your debt. And this is great. So let's bring this out. When I look at this, what I do, especially having an academic background, is make sure I'm defining everything so that we're all on the right and the same page. So first and foremost, when we're talking about investing, the idea here is that you're trying to say, I'm gonna put some money away or put some money into an investment with the hopes of it growing in the next couple of years, right? And so your goal, if it's a good investment, solid, consistent, actual, real investment, you're looking at anywhere from 8% to 10% per year appreciation. That would be great growth. So that's on the investment side. On the debt side, we have different types of debt, right? We have incredibly bad debt, something like credit cards or personal loans, things that are if it's a personal loan, maybe 10%, maybe 15% interest rate. Whereas with credit cards, you're looking all the way up to like 25% interest rate. Then you also have debt uh, that is less scary and less big. And that would be something like student loans, something like 3 to 5% interest rate, maybe even an auto loan or a home loan, right? A mortgage loan. And those, again, are not crazy. They're in the single digits. So we have to make sure and define which one we're talking about. Because if your debt is something like the credit card payment, right, and it's 25% interest, we really have to figure this thing out. And so I'll give you an example. Let's say you have $1,000 and you can either throw that towards your credit card debt, you have credit card debt of $1,000, or you could invest and in the market you could make some money, right? The way that we wanna look at this is Let's say you're gonna make 10% by putting it in the S&P 500. You put $1,000 in, you're gonna make 10% this year. Great, but what happens there? You're not able to then put that 1,000 towards your debt. So then what happens? Your debt then takes on 25%, a negative 25% towards your total. So you gain 10% by putting it in the stock market, you lose 25%, by not paying off the debt, and so you actually ended up with a negative 15%, and that's a loss of money. So that's a pretty easy one when you're kind of comparing the two and you wanna just make sure and define out what are we talking about. For certain debt, something like student loans or something with a very, very low interest rate, it doesn't really make sense in my opinion for you to throw that money unnecessarily at that loan just to pay it down. Because in that regard, if it's a 3% interest, a negative 3, and you could make 10% over here, if you put it in this one and still had that negative 3, you come out to a plus 7%. So in that way, you're making more money doing it that way. Now again, it's not as easy or cut and dry as just numbers, and that's part of the issue, right? You have to know yourself. And that's usually where I start with my actual students, and so that's what I'm gonna just end with with you. Is it going to make it so that you're not able to sleep at night because you have debt? If that's the case, then you know the answer. You gotta pay off that debt. If, though, you can like live with the debt, it's manageable, it's just there, you're healthy, you're paying you know, the minimum or just a little bit more than the minimum every month, but you're also making money over here, Maybe that's more your personality, and if that's the case, go for it. I think that you have to search deep down, you have to figure out who you are, what's your risk profile, what are your goals, all of these types of things. 
But overall, make sure that you understand that Professor G definitely recommends that if it's bad debt, credit card, personal loans, especially in the double digits of interest rate, I personally would definitely throw all my money towards paying that down, getting that out of the way, especially with the possible recession coming, anything of that nature, we wanna get debt out. So that's me, that's what I would do. Thanks for the question and for anybody watching, if you have a question that I can help answer, please throw it down in the comment section and make sure and watch the rest of the videos that have started out in this series. Every week I'm gonna do a new Office Hours on Saturday, so be looking out for that. Glad you made it and I'll see you on the next Office Hours.